Hi everybody. This is my 40 gallon native tank and I recently had issues with a crayfish failing to molt properly because my water's not hard enough. I've got pretty much no calcium or magnesium in this tank. I tested the water hardness and it came out pretty much at zero. I got no reaction whatsoever on the water hardness test. So ultimately what I want to do is add a couple of nice sized chunks of limestone into the tank, maybe some Texas Holy Rock or something. Uh, unfortunately, there's none around here naturally, and I've not had a chance to get down to a good fish store anyway. I mean, the, the PetSmart and the Petco, I checked there, and they don't have any of the Texas Holy Rock that I'm looking for, at least not at a price I'm willing to pay. And so I'm just going to have to wait till next week. I'll be down uh, a little bit south of here. I'll be past uh, House of Tropicals, and they sell the limestone or Texas Holy Rock by the pound, and it's a lot cheaper that way. So in the meantime, what I have is this stuff called oyster grit or oyster shell. It's poultry grit is what it really is. And it is partially oyster shell, but it's also got aragonite crushed coral in there. And we're going to go ahead and add some. The reason I've got the bag in one hand and I've got a container of it over here is that when I originally got it, I sort of separated it out through a sieve. And this is all the more fine material that was in the bag. And I think if I dump that in the tank, it'll make it really, really cloudy. Whereas the stuff I've got in the bag is a little more gravelly looking. That's the larger stuff that came in the bag. So I'm going to dump some of that in. In fact, I'm going to do it right now on camera so you can see exactly how much I dump in. We're going to do it real scientific-like. And so what that is going to do is leave a bunch of white rocks and stuff in the back of the tank, which isn't going to be terribly attractive. I'm going to dump a little more than that in there. And we're going to get some clouding water, and whether that cloudiness goes away over the next few hours or not, I don't know. We're going to see. But I'm going to go and check right now, immediately after putting that in there, we're going to do a hardness test. We're going to give it a couple of minutes to let that sort of swirl around. And then we're going to do a hardness test and find out if it has any immediate impact just by having that dust in the water. And then we'll come back in an hour or two hours or four hours or whatever. And we'll just see throughout the day how a little bit of aragonite and some oyster grit. Well, again, I've said before that the oyster shells dissolve so slowly that they're not really serving much of a purpose. They're not going to make any significant changes in the water. The aragonite coral will dissolve much, much more quickly. And so I'm expecting literally within a few hours we should see the water hardness uh, start to come up in this tank, which will indicate that we've got calcium and magnesium dissolving into the water. So by later today, we might be able to go out and get some crayfish and get them in the tank, and we'll just have to wait and see how the day plays out. So let me go get to testing, and we'll see how the hardness comes up in this tank over the course of the afternoon. All right, everybody, it's been a minute or two since the last clip we just saw, so we're going to see if we've got an immediate impact and we do not yet. Again, it's been two minutes, so I wasn't expecting that quick of an impact, but we wanted to get a baseline for when we first put it in there. So you'll notice that that has a green color to it. That is the finished color. It's supposed to sort of turn orange if there's any hardness in it, and then you keep adding drops until it changes to green, and the number of drops indicates the degree of hardness. So I was expecting that to happen, and I've set up a little test so we can demonstrate what a positive water hardness test looks like. And if you've ever had any problem with your own test at home, you'll be able to get an idea of what you're looking at now. So this is my tap water that we just took that sample from. And just to show you once again, my tap water has no hardness in it. We do one drop, and we've got that sort of green color instantly there is no change at all it just turns green when that green liquid goes in so now let's rinse that out this is calcium and magnesium calmag solution for my house plants 
and a little goes a long way. So let's see how much degree of hardness we just added to that water by giving that tiny, tiny little squirt. I probably put about a milliliter in there, maybe a milliliter. And so what we should get now is a definite color change to an orangey sort of color. That is a positive hardness test. So that was one drop. Then we'll do two drops. Three. Four. Five. That's number six. And now we're starting to get that shift over to green. So I'm going to call that six degrees hardness when we put this drop in it'll definitely be green so there's no question there so the sixth drop is the one that shifted it from orange to green so this water now has six degrees hardness in it just from that tiny tiny little squirt of cow mag i put in there but that's what you're going to see when you get a positive hardness test when it turns green on that very first drop that's no hardness whatsoever. I don't know if you want to count that as one drop or you want to count that as zero, but it basically means there's no calcium magnesium in your water. So now we've got the test set up. We've got a baseline established. We'll come back in a few hours. We'll take another water sample and see if we haven't moved up to maybe one degree hardness or two degrees hardness. I don't know, but we'll be back in a few hours. So sit tight. All right, everybody, it has been about six or seven hours. I'm not exactly sure what time we started doing this. It was about 11 o'clock, maybe noon, and it is now 6 p.m. So it's been six to seven hours, and we are going to take a water sample and try again. I suspect by now we will see some change, but it's probably not going to be anywhere near a full six degrees hardness. So let's go ahead and get a sample. I always like to pour the first one out just so that I know any water that is left in there is the water that we just collected. So we'll take it on over, give it a test, and see what we end up with. All right, everybody. I suspect we're going to get some kind of reaction, but we certainly aren't going to get the full six degrees of hardness just yet. I would call that a reaction. I would say that's orange. Yeah, that's definitely orange. And now we're green. So, two. We went from turning green on that first drop to at least getting one drop where it turns orange and now we've got the green coloration. So there you go, six, seven hours and we're already starting to see an impact with the aragonite in there so if i can get some texas holy rock or some other type of limestone that dissolves fairly rapidly we'll put a couple of chunks of that in the tank i think we'll have plenty of hardness and we won't have any more issues with my crayfish so thanks for watching that one hope you enjoyed that make sure you subscribe you don't want to miss anything you never know what you're going to get with me so thanks again i'll see you real soon in the next one